We are dishing on movies. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand spanking new edition of, of dishing, dishing on, on movies. movies. Yes, indeed, we are back and all up in your kitchen. This week we're going to be doing a cloudy with a chance of meatballs recipe. I'm going back to Swallow Falls to destroy the Flintstoner, which is creating deadly food monsters which are trying to learn to swim so they can attack Lady Liberty. It's pretty bomb, and in fact, what we're doing, we're putting spaghetti in the meatball. That's right. Do what? In the meatball. Say hi. <laughs> so we're gonna show you how it couldn't be easier, couldn't be more delicious. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Too early, too early. <laughs> then cook spaghetti, marinara sauce, mozzarella cheese, garlic, parmesan cheese, ground beef, milk, garlic salt, garlic powder, breadcrumbs, shallot, Italian parsley, and chopsticks. Here's the thing about a great spaghetti and meatball, mm -hmm. you gotta have a good ball. Truth. So we're gonna show you how to make a really flavorful, great meatball, whether you put spaghetti in it or not. So the first step is you wanna have lots of flavor coming at it. So we're gonna put some shallot, some garlic, mm -hmm. some Italian parsley, and mm -hmm. let's get on it. So I'm gonna get two cutting boards. That is one hunk of meat. That's just a tomato. So what do you think of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? I gotta tell you, for a chef who loves cartoons, uh -huh. it was one of my favorite movies. Oh good, okay, yeah. I just thought it was so whimsical and fun, and I mean, I grew up at the age of the Jetsons, so when Rosie could push a button and dinner was like, came out <laughs> and feed the Jetsons, and that's what was so cool about the Splint's invention, right? He just invented a machine and it could like make spaghetti, or it could snow ice cream. Mind a cheeseburger storm, I gotta tell you. Yeah. I just would. <laughs> I wouldn't wear a raincoat or nothing. I'd just be. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Here's what you wanna do so that you're making sure you really mince this parsley. Uh -huh. So sometimes it's helpful to do it in bunches, particularly with a smaller cutting board. So I just take a knife and you wanna hold firmly here. Uh -huh. Okay. Use this hand for pressure and you're just gonna go over it like that. Easy peasy. Why am I talking to a pickle? YouTube, if you have any tips to help me not cry when cutting shallots, I will send you a batch of homemade chocolate chip cookies. That's I a need. Good I, are good cookies. I need a trick. How, like I'm already crying. You see my eyeballs? <laughs> All right, so the water's boiling, so we're just gonna plop in our noodles and cook them to the al dente. The secret to making great meatballs mm -hmm. is you want to, you know, keep moisture. So in terms of the beef, um, we're using an 85-15 ground beef. That just means it's 15% fat. A little fattier. Yeah. Now, 30% fat is too much fat. It means when you cook the ground beef, it's going to just lose a lot of, it's going to be really greasy. So 85-15 uh -huh. is great. Okay. Top sirloin is too lean. Okay. So I like 85-15, or even 80-20, but stay within that range. Okay. So since it's all about moisture and flavor, we're going to do a couple of things. So I'm going to have you take this milk and add it to breadcrumbs. This milk here? Yeah. What's going to happen is the breadcrumbs are going to absorb the moisture from the milk, and we're going to put that into the meatball. So go ahead and just, you know, you can give it a stir with your finger if you want. It's going to absorb that. Okay. See, it's getting all wet. Now we're going to add some other ingredients that's going to help uh, with the moisture. All right, so we're gonna add some shallot that we chopped up. That's gonna give it moisture and flavor. No more tears. <laughs> no more tears. You guys, that wasn't so bad. Yeah. I like the first one, so I'm interested to see the second one. If you guys have seen the second one, let us know what you thought in the comments down below. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Get it nice and stirred. And then we're gonna wait a second. Now here's the thing. This is not in the recipe, it's definitely optional, but I like the moisture and binding of an egg. Mm. So I'm gonna add an egg, but it's definitely optional. You don't need it, but I like it. So I'm gonna add one for our meatballs today. And that just helps like keep it together better? Or? It actually adds some moisture, it adds some fat. Okay. Um, so it's the two things that we're getting because we're using leaner meat. Oh, I see. But you can also add a little bit more extra milk and have the same thing. So go ahead and put those breadcrumbs in there. If we all work together, this should be easy as pie. So how do you tell when a noodle is ready or al dente? You know, there's a really good trick. So what you want to do is you can feel it, see if it feels a little bit tacky. It feels, duh, that's hard to say. It's not stiff, it's bendy. Uh -huh. um, or you can just taste it. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll just have a look. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, it just went. Oops. Wow, that's the best noodle I've ever had. Watch you go black. What? <laughs> 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 
So you pop your chopsticks apart. Yeah. And you literally, uh, it's all right, because we just need the bottoms. Uh, okay, we're gonna just kind of stab it and twist. Just so we can get small, more manageable mounds. It's gonna be deadly dangerous with a good chance of death. And that's why we'll need help. We're gonna put this in the freezer and then we're going to uh, take them back out. Never frozen a noodle before, I'm curious. First try everything on Dishing on Movies. Dishing on Movies. I'm just gonna chop up some pieces of uh, mozzarella that I had. Mozzarella. And I'm just gonna kind of put it on top and try to press it. Now this mozzarella was at room temperature, so it's super soft. As opposed to the crunchy noodles. Look at these frozen little noodles. Uh, that was the cheese. So, uh, what do you gotta do next? Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the meatball, almost like you're making a hamburger. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna flatten this meat out. As flat as I can make it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm gonna put the noodle inside like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's a little That's extra. so weird. And then just gonna wrap it around. <laughs> yeah. Oops. All right. So just like that. Kind of squeeze up and over, kind of enclosing it inside. Pinching it. And now it's in there. And then I'm just going to roll it. Like a little spaghetti pocket. Spaghetti pocket. Hold on, everyone. Ah! There's a leak in the boat. Ah! Now we're going to take these meatballs and put them in a 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Got our meatballs on a platter. I'm just gonna put a little bit of sauce on top. These smell delicious. They are delicious. And as you saw, couldn't have really been easier. I mean. And you could make these into your own little foodimals if you wanted to, give them some eyes or a mouth or something. Totally. You could definitely make this a sequel. If you <laughs> be. Exactly. I mean, I think what we've done here is we've created a food invention that even Flint will be proud of. Flint would be proud of this little right? food invention, wouldn't he? So Make sure to try this at home. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And really, if you have an idea to help me stop crying when I eat onions, I will ship you my specially famous chocolate chip cookies. That's a good deal, y'all. That's a good deal. We could just Google it also. Uh oh. There's one meatball left. Well, ladies first. Oh, you know, you got it. Oh, oh that's, that's really too kind of you. I'll, I'll, you, you. You go ahead and you have it. <laughs> you have it. No, I think, I think you, you, could, you could just. <laughs> <laughs> Your beard is full of sauce. We are dishing on movies. <laughs>